Today is Wednesday, January the 26th, 2022, and I feel under the weather still. I feel like absolute crap, but the show must go on. Today's episode is from the Encyclopedia of Human Behaviour and is on coping. Introduction. All life seeks a sense of constancy or stability, yet the greatest constant in life is change. As change occurs in the human body, the automatic nervous system works to restore everything to a state of balance called homeostasis. This process requires no conscious thought or action by the individual to respond to that change. The external world, that is daily life, also is filled with new situations and changing circumstances that challenge stability. From everyday irritants such as bad night's sleep or heavy traffic to acute conditions like flu or a disagreement with a loved one. Whatever, I don't know what's going to happen, but whatever it is, this woman deserves it. No, unhand her! Bringing that poor dog here. No. An ongoing strain such as chronic disability or the death of a spouse. Because these changes are a part of the normal course of life, people must fairly consistently monitor and adjust themselves, the change factor stressor or the environment, in order to regain that sense of stability. Thus, the healthy human body may take care of itself internally. What about changes that require adaptation? Do they stress us out? And then the second part, theories of coping, the personality framework. The foundation for coping as a part of personality began with the work of Sigmund Freud. According to early psychodynamic psychoanalytic theory, conflicts between the ID and the superego create anxiety, and the ego responds by employing defence mechanisms to repress those negative feelings. Though additions have been made to this list over time, the original Freudian defence mechanisms are denial, refuse to believe despite evidence to the contrary, displacement, act out on someone else rather than the actual target, intellectualization, pay little attention to emotions, projection, place own negative thoughts or feelings on another, rationalization, replace the real reason with a logical one, reaction formation, believe slash feel the opposite of the real unwanted belief or feeling, regression, return to a childlike state or behavior, repression, keep the unwanted in the unconscious, sublimation, act out of unacceptable impulses in a socially acceptable way, and suppression. Try to put the unwanted into the unconscious. You're enough, you're always enough, but you've got to somehow prostitute yourself before you realise your own value. 